The following is a discussion on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, ninth chapter, text number 34, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on August 3rd, 1976, at the Paris Farm. Engage your mind always in thinking of me, offer obeisances and worship me. Being completely absorbed in me, surely you will come to me. So, what is the difficulty? Krishna is governing the four things. On Manabha, always think of me. You, man mana bhava madva, you become my devotee. Unless you become devotee, you cannot think of Krishna. That is automatic. If you think of Krishna always, that means you are devotee. Otherwise, why a person wastes his time thinking of Krishna? He can think of business. Uh, he can think of so many other things. Only the devotee can think of Krishna. So, if you think of Krishna, then automatically you become devotee. Is there any objection? Uh, who can think of Krishna always? Not always even think of Krishna. Uh, unless I is devotee. Uh, and to think of Krishna, what is the difficulty? Uh, is there any difficulty? To think of Krishna? Thinking power we have got, we think somebody, our mind is never vacant. Always think something. We think of something always, twenty four hours. That is mind's nature. So, if you simply think of Krishna, then your life, life becomes success. Where is the difficulty? Uh, the result is, Mami was see, by following this principle, uh, thinking of Krishna, which means to become devotee, manmana uh, bhava bhagma, madhyaji. Uh, anyone who is devotee, naturally he will worship Krishna. The temple is there, we worship. Uh, then one man of how much there is. Magna Muskuru. And worshipping Krishna means if you cannot do anything, you simply go and offer you. You say, that's all. <laughs> it is open to everyone. There is no restriction that such and such men can come and offer you. No. Anyone. Man he passed over past history. Greedy he passed over. In born in low grade family, it doesn't matter. So, where is the difficulty that we want to discuss? To become Krishna conscious, is there any difficulty for any person, anywhere, any part of the world? Let us discuss this. Huh? You sit down properly. I say you. Yes. <coughs> so, discuss this point. What is the division? Why people are not to support that? But the process is very simple. Hmm. Manmana bhava man bhakta bhakta. The result? No diversity reference. Mame vaishyasi. So what is the next line? Mame vaishyasi yukta yam. Yukta yam. 
दुखों में ही जनक थे थिंक का प्रश्न ऑफर सुप्रीम आत्मा कृष्ण वी लव आत्मा एवरी वन ऑफ अस वी इफ देर इज सम डेंजर दैन इमीजिएटली वी ट्राई टू प्रोटेक्ट आवर सेल्फ प्रोटेक्ट इज बॉडी फ्रॉम डेंजर क्वाज वाई डू यू वॉन्ट टू प्रोटेक्ट दिस बॉडी From danger. What is the reason? They identify the body as the self, and the self is part and parcel of the self. Uh, that is wrong conception. But actually, because I am living within this body, I want to give protection. This is the fact. Uh, this guy wants. Protects his country because he lives there. Protects his house, protects his property because he has a civilization. Similarly, because we have got utility for this body, we give protection. But uh, when the Living entity is no longer there within this body. There is no possibility of protection. It is thrown out. Even his father, mother, or relative, they take the body as well. In a different way, the body is thrown out. It is no more important. So. That ultimately it comes that you love yourself, and you love yourself, uh, but the self is the part and parcel of the supreme self. Therefore, you love yourself because you love the supreme self. Hmm. So, so therefore, atmana, what is that? Mat parayana. मत पड़ा एक्चुअली एवरी वन हैज गॉट द लविंग प्रोपेंसिटी बिकॉज ही लव कृष्ण दैट इज नेचुरल सो कृष्ण से दैट सिंपली बाई फॉलोइंग दिस प्रोसेस मन मना भगवान भक्त मन जय मावे वॉइस यू आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड आउट This su- supreme lovable object, so many voices. And let us live, uh, loving one another. This is the goal of life. Uh, and every one of us, we love Krishna, but we are missing Him. Therefore, we are. Uh, Our blessing, our loving propensity, wrongly, yes, 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 and we are becoming frustrated. The star says that if you simply follow this process, man mana bhava mat bhakta, you come to you, come to your original love. So there is a difficulty. To attain the highest perfection of life, where is the difficulty? <coughs> Anyone can say that here is the difficulty. You explain by your wisdom, Shri Upad. Bhagavad Gita, your perfection, Maya Parita, Chaita Sam. To do so, to attach to material enjoyment and material repugnance, the devotional service cannot take place. Hmm. This can be one. Because we want uh, material happiness, that was the difficulty. Hmm. So 
material happiness, we have got experience. It cannot give us satisfaction. Uh, uh, big, big countries, America, in Europe, and so many, they have advanced in material happiness. But actually, they are not happy. The material happiness cannot give us happiness. <coughs> happiness, when we actually come to Krishna and love Him, happiness means also love. Either you love your family or your country or your society or your wife or children, then by loving there is happiness. But this loving process is not giving us happiness. We are becoming frustrated. Uh, therefore, uh, the real lovable object being Krishna, if we make progress to that uh, point, then this is this is so if this is concluded, then where is difficulty to execute this process? That is my point. Now it is concluded that if we come to Krishna and love Him, then that is the highest perfection of our life. Now to attain that highest perfection of life, where is the difficult? That is the point I was. <coughs> Only if one is envious of Krishna. Huh? Then there is a question of love. That is another thing. But if you actually want to love Krishna, where is the difficulty? There is no difficulty. That is my point. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to love somebody, then there is no question of process. Yes. But if you know by loving such and such person you will be happy, then there is process and the process is very easy. Yes. And open to everyone. That is my point. Now discuss on this point. Sometimes devotees, they, they want to love Krishna, but they they, they fall down. They, they can't seem to... They want to love Krishna, but they divert their love to other things. That is the reason. If you want to love Krishna, then follow this manmana bhava mad bhakta mad jnani If you love Krishna, then why you are diverting your attention? You are worshipping deity, you are thinking of loving some of us. That's all. Huh? Why you are diverting? If you love Krishna, you are engaged in Krishna's service, they decorate nicely. Uh, why you are diverting your attention? That means I am not here from Him. But I am loving Krishna, highly perfect. That is the In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Ye tamam prapadyam te comes the title of Yamya. Like everything is said that we are discussing for a point, uh, that one is, if we are convinced, uh, that is, that requires uh, education, uh, love, we are being frustrated every point. Now, when the perfectional point is come, uh, that is, by loving the original, Objective. Uh, there are so many examples. Just like a child is not happy in another oven's lap, crying. But as soon as he comes to the lap of his own mother, he is miserable. So we are trying to be happy so many ways, but we are not becoming happy. I will come to the real point of loving Krishna. Love is there. I want to love somebody, everyone. But that is not being properly utilized. 
ਤੇ ਥੋੜੀ ਜਿਹਾ ਰਹਾ ਸੋ ਹੈ ਨੂੰ ਕਮ ਟੂ ਦਿਸ ਸਟੇ ਜੇ ਲਵ ਹਿਮ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨਾ ਲੈ ਲਈ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਜੀ ਬੋਲ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਬੀਂਗ ਇਨਸਟਰਕਟਡ ਬਾਈ ਆਰ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨਾ ਕੌਂਸੈਸਨਸ ਮੂਮੈਂਟ ਨਾਉ ਟੂ ਲਵ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨਾ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨਾ ਨੇਵਰ ਸੇਡ that uh, in order to love me you have to go to the factory or to what some had pretty mind away from your home he does not say as he simply man mana bhava 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 jani the question may be read that if i want to love krishna then how other things will go <laughs> this goes to the devotee so this never said that you have to go to the factory earn money and then you can run it you know it may may make this funny is that any funny <laughs> now practical person will say if i think of krishna all that then where from money will come <laughs> this goes to the devotee right? I will answer you. Krishna says, Yoga Kshemam Bahamya. Ah, find out this word. thinking of Krishna, worshiping Krishna. <coughs> For such person, uh, Krishna says, Yoga Khemang Baham Yaham. I personally carry all the necessities of life. I personally carry. So my point is that uh, here in this new Mahapur, If you simply carry on this man man on how much of God, then all your necessities will come automatically. You don't bother. <laughs> carry my <myself. laughs> yeah. stuff. You will get sufficient food, sufficient milk, sufficient fruits, flowers, all necessities. Uh, simply uh, you act on the half of Krishna and think of Krishna. And don't bother about the necessities of life, it will be automatically supplied. Don't be distracted from that point of view. Simply engage yourself in this business of manmana bhava vajra 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 our own personal uh project no personal <laughs> there's no personal in there uh, just like these animals they have no personal in there they depend on you if you cut his floor you can cut and if you give his protection you can give But they, the animal has no personal endeavor. That is full surrender. <laughs> That is our position. We will fully surrender to Krishna and He will give you protection. That you are thinking how the animal will live, how the children will live. It is not the children's business, not the animal's business. 
Sometimes if we are faced with a service, we think it's beyond our means. Sometimes we hesitate to do it. <laughs> if you think of Krishna, how can you say it? Hmm. Why do you say beyond your name? Ahitikya Pratyatha. Ahitikya Pratyatha. Cannot be said. It cannot be said. Ahitikya Pratyatha. There's no question of saying this. If somehow Srila Prabhupada, someone falls down, does that mean that he did not want to love Krishna? Yes. <coughs> if someone is doing some service which involves business, is he thinking of Krishna when he is thinking of that service? <coughs> yes, if he is doing for Krishna, he must be thinking of Krishna. Hmm. Just, just like somebody who works in business or factory for the Oh, wife and children, they always think something. <laughs> Although he's working in the factory or in business, he's thinking for the welfare of his wife, children, family. Mm-hmm. Similarly, if he actually works for Krishna, he think of it. How can a person with all material desires develop desire to love Krishna? Material man says, you uh, love more Krishna automatically, material desires will be feeling. Hmm. Because you do not love Krishna, same person, therefore material. The balance is filled up by material desires. Hmm. Hmm. It's like in a glass, there is some ink, and if you I fill up with water, the full glass, the ink will vary. Mm-hmm. There will be no more ink. It will be all, all white. Bhakti Parishan Bhava Vidakti Anatrasa. To love Krishna means you have no more material. The percentage you are lacking, Krishna, love, the percentage. Material desire. Read the Thaiwan Kapanda. If you love Krishna, ten percent, then ninety percent material desire. And if you love Krishna, ninety percent, ten percent material desire. Mm-hmm. And if you love Krishna, ten percent, there is no material desire. Read the So if you love Krishna twenty-four hours, ten percent, simply thinking of Krishna uh, and offering obeisances, worshiping, then where is the possibility of material desire? There is no possibility. The process is very simple. One manaha was and all other things they come automatically. Uh, actually, Krishna is supplying everything. Uh, the Krishna is supplying this grass. The animal will eat, and the, the animal will supply milk. He drinks milk. So Krishna is supplying. Everything is being supplied by Krishna. Actually. But because you do not know Krishna, do not love Krishna, cannot understand. The supply is being made by Krishna. Yoga Kiva Vahavi Ham, even for the non devotee. So what to speak of the devotee? It automatically comes. This is way. So the point is there is no difficulty to become Krishna conscious 
and the result is so big that mommy was shashi of anything. This Gatyana Nivatyanti, Sadhavam Paramamma. So for such great benefit of life, if you simply think of Krishna and become his devotee, why shall I lose this opportunity? What is that intelligence? Therefore, unless one is a rustal, miscreant, lowest of the mankind, he cannot give up his work. It is not possible. Unless he is rustal number one, lowest of the mankind, full of sinful activities, he cannot avoid this work. <laughs> You have given the analogy that when a person turns his back to the sun, he creates the shadow. Yes. And as he turns towards the sun, the shadow disappears. Yes. That is the vote of our Krishna Sajjo Sama. God has his right, Maya is his right. Mm. If someone, does Krishna punish people who do not serve him fully, or do the people punish themselves when they do not serve him fully? <coughs> By nature, uh, nature is acting. Uh, by Krishna's indication, so. Nature will punish you. As soon as you violate nature's law, you will be punished automatically. Suppose if you, you are not hungry, you have no appetite, but if you wipe force, if you eat, then you will increase the disease because you are violated. There is no appetite, you still you are eating. So you must suffer. If you have infected some disease, so you must suffer from that disease. So that nature's law is working. Krishna hasn't got to take any direct action. Nature, Maya, is there. As soon as you violate the laws of Krishna, you will be Automatically. You cannot avoid it. There is Jesha Guna Vai Mo Maya Dhanatta. Cannot avoid it. Those who are trying to overcome the laws of nature, that is the so called modern scientist endeavor, and that is foolishness, rascalism. They cannot. It is not possible. Just like uh, we are here, we are given this planet to live, and there is this moon planet we can see. And these rascals tried to go there, so many ways. <laughs> Very few, so we can live there. Wow. <laughs> Respect here. We see the moon planet is there. We have got machine, we can go, but you cannot go. <laughs> this is all of This is all This is practically true. But they are so rascal fools, they are going to another place. <laughs> they do not think with the one place we have already failed. <laughs> they are called puna puna chat with the charvana. Seeing the children. They are being baffled every step. And still they are trying to overcome the laws of this. This is their feeling. Naraghava. Maya Bhujagya. Maya is so strong upon them that their so-called scientific knowledge is useless. In 1958, when I wrote that, wow, easy journey to other planets, 
I wrote in that book, those who have read it, that this moon planet excursion is simply childish and waste of time. And actually it has proved. So I was not a scientist, neither I am a scientist. How did I say? I said, on the strength of the bharsan in the Vedic literature, that it is not possible. Uh, you cannot. We are conditioned. We are conditioned to remain in a certain condition, certain atmosphere. We, we cannot surpass that. That's why we are animals of the land. We cannot go to the water. <coughs> and the aquatic species, they are animals of the water. They cannot live on the land. <coughs> Why these rascals are trying to overcome the laws of nature? How foolish rascals they are, just imagine. Huh? Any child can understand, but these rascals cannot understand. They are challenging that we are trying to overcome the laws. Is it not? Hmm. That is their challenge. Therefore they are rascals. Narādhava. Maya of Rishabhyana. They are attempting in something which they cannot perform. Therefore they are asked. Mura. The better to become more and more Mura, better take to this account. <laughs> That will make your life better. Mm. Why should you imitate these rascals? Hmm? What is your saying? What do you say? You say they are rascals. What do you say? They are all rascals. That's right. <laughs> Anyone protest against this? <laughs> he will be another rascal. <laughs> Don't try to overcome the laws of nature. That is not possible. <coughs> we have been given this land, this planet, live here. Grow your food, chant Hare Krishna, and live peacefully. Why should you go to the one planet? <laughs> But there is process. If you want to go, there is process. Not this that by force I can go there by machine. That is not possible. That is foolishness. Oh. Just like hey, I am Indian, if I want to come to France, I must take visa, I must have passport, and so on, so on. By force I want to enter. No. So we have got experience that by force we cannot do anything. You must be competent to uh, go anywhere, provided you qualify yourself. Janti Deva, Bhutta Deva, Antitra, Janti, you can go. But not in that way, because you have got a cleaning machine, you can go. That's not so. use that. Is not possible. If someone forces his mind to a Prabhupada to think of Krishna... That is foolish. One who is controlled by his mind, that is more foolishness. But if he forces his mind... That, that's all force or not force. One who is controlled by the mind, he is a rascal. Hmm. He is a rascal. Mano rathena satu dhavato mahi. Rāva bhaktasya kuto mahada guna mano rathena mano rathena. They are driven by the chariot of mind. He is there. No utility. No benefit. But all these rascals, scientists, philosophers, they are going on the chariot of the mind. I think, in my opinion, <laughs> <laughs> 
Bueno, ahora sí, ¿no? On the mental platform. So they're all bullish. They have no value. <coughs> mental concourse. Huge. That means that our attraction for Krishna must be spontaneous? Huh? Our attraction for Krishna must be spontaneous. Force? You want yeah, to love there. somebody, but the love is misplaced, therefore you are baffled. The place is to Krishna in the earth. Love is there. That is not a new thing. But you are misplacing the love. That information we are giving. That don't misplace your love. Place your love to Krishna in the earth. We can bring the mind under the control of Krishna? Yes. One who is under the control of my aim, Krishna, he is no more under control of the mind. Somebody is not Krishna Padara in that. Mind is being controlled. So mind cannot dictate. <coughs> Those who are not under control of Krishna, the mind dictates. He is under the control of the mind. That's sense. That's <coughs> Hmm. So the uh, point is that be fixed up in Krishna consciousness. Don't disturb yourself by the material um, environment or enchantment. Be fixed up. Chant Hare Krishna, always fixed up. Uh, your mind at the lotus feet of Krishna. So far, the necessities of life concern, that will come automatically. It will never be in trouble. Mm. Go on with this business. Thank you.